Installation of your SideShift PT360 is easy if you're relatively handy. You'll need an extra pair of hands to assist you. And please remember to wear eye protection. Before getting started, carefully choose a location for the SideShift PT230 bow thruster. If you routinely trailer your boat, you want to make sure the PT230 will clear the upright stanchions on your trailer. And if your pontoon has an aluminum skin on the underside, make sure you locate and mark cross members in the framing. Mounting to the skin itself is not suitable for installing the PT230. Once you've marked your location for mounting, you can begin carefully drilling the four mounting holes. Once again, be sure you're drilling into the cross member framing. Once mounted, give a gentle tug downward to make sure all four mounting points are secure. Before proceeding, it's a good idea to go above deck and lay out the components of the SideShift PT360 that will be mounted at the helm. Then, carefully choose where your additional batteries, fuses, cables, and controllers will be located inside your boat. If your pontoon has vertical aluminum supports underneath the floor decking, you may need to drill a hole to feed the PT230's wiring up through the floor. Please note, you'll want to install a rubber or plastic grommet in any hole drilled through metal to protect your wiring. Before drilling, try to locate the other electrical wiring in your boat and run the PT230's wiring parallel with it for a clean install. If possible, try to use an existing penetration or boot in your boat's floor decking to bring all cabling into the helm and other areas where you plan to install components. You'll find it's much easier if you insert a stiff wire or wiring snake downward then, locate the wire underneath and attach the side shift cabling to it using electrical tape. Then, gently begin tugging your pull wire upward until you see the PT230's wires. If possible, have an extra pair of hands below deck feeding the wiring to you as you pull. You'll find the task much easier if you reduce any tape bulk by taping the thickest wire first, then taping the thinner wire to the thick one. Once your wiring is pulled, make sure to fasten any slack in wires that may come in contact with water. Carefully determine a helm location for SideShift's dual wireless joystick. Once confident you've chosen a location without obstacles behind the mounting, prepare to drill a 2.5 inch hole with a template provided, using a standard hole saw. Once your hole is complete, insert the joystick in place to ensure fit, but do not apply a permanent adhesive at this time. Next, you'll want to choose a location to mount your SideShift ST230 outboard thruster, and carefully mark where you'll be drilling. Use heavy tape to protect your motor's finish. Then, using the ST230 mounting plate, carefully mark each hole location before drilling. The mounting plate can be attached to the top or bottom of the motor's cavitation plate. Insert the mounting hardware in each hole of the mounting plate and diagonally begin lightly snugging each nut. Then, fully tighten in the same pattern. Once the mounting plate is firmly installed, you can begin installing the SideShift ST230 outboard thruster. Before attaching the wiring harness clamps to your outboard motor, it's a good idea to tape the locations where you feel are best suited for mounting. This may take a little time and experimentation, making sure your motor can function normally. It's a good idea to have someone at the helm to turn the wheel side to side and fully trim the motor up and down. Once you're certain of your wiring harness clamps locations, go ahead and secure the harness to your motor and use your motor's existing wiring harness as a guide to run the ST230's cables and airline underneath your decking, then up through the floor into the desired location. A typical side shift PT360 installation requires two additional 12 volt starter batteries with a minimum of 850 cold cranking amps, one for each thruster unit. In this installation, we've installed one additional battery inside a stern lounge seat, along with a digital fuse and battery disconnect. The second battery, digital fuse and sending unit, were located inside the helm. Once both the SideShift PT230 and ST230 units are checked to be fully functional, use the Secaflex adhesive that came with your kit to secure your joystick into place. You are now ready to enjoy your SideShift PT360 bow and stern thruster system. If you need any help during your installation, please do not hesitate to contact SideShift for support.